Well, the house full signs are up. A record attendance here at the Fitness First Stadium as Bournemouth look to knock Plymouth Argyle off the top of the Christmas tree. Well, just the one change in the Argyle side as they look to make it five wins in a row. David Frio replacing Tony Capaldi in midfield. Bournemouth, who suffered just one home defeat this season, make three changes. James Hayter, Lewis Buxton and Sean Mayer come in. Gareth O'Connor, Wade Elliott and Brian Stock drop to the bench. Well, Argyle looking to make the bright start. Well, Nathan Lowndes has won an early free kick. Early opportunity then for Argyle, Paul Watton to blast it. Oh, it's only just wide. Oh, Watton does like to hit them from there. Well within his range, that one, and with the breeze at his back, he was certainly a hope to have caused a problem or two for Neil Moss. Now Marino Keith, Lowndes making a little run inside him. Lowndes coming to the near post. Oh, nearly found him too. Good break again by Argyle. Carl Fletcher with the clearance. Now Joffrey getting it away, no fouls at the referee. This is Norris, inside for Keith. Held it up well. Put away at the expense of a corner. Rogers to curl it in then, Moss coming for it. Didn't really get much on it, and the chance for a touch in. Oh! Well, that should have been the opening goal. And Graham Coughlin it was who popped up on the far post. Well, the ball came to perhaps took him by surprise slightly, but Coughlin really should have hit the target from there. Well, Mayer's attempted clearance was charged down by Marino Keith then. Moss with the clearance, Watton will try the shot from there. And it's in! What a goal from Paul Watton! Well, that must have been fully 40 yards out. And the Argyle skipper puts his side ahead. Well, it all stemmed from that mistake by Sean Mayer, which almost let Marino Keith in. Neil Moss came out with the clearance, but succeeded only in finding Watton. He had time to look up, see that the goal was empty. And it was just a question of trying to thread the needle. And he threaded it absolutely perfectly. Oh, Joffrey penalised. Well, it looks as if Carl Fletcher is going to be the man to hit it eventually. Cummings just rolling it into Carl Fletcher's path. He got a good strike on it too. And I think McCormick got a touch to touch it over for the corner. Well, that's the first really serious threat we've seen from the home side. Carl Fletcher, the skipper, fancying his chances from 35 yards or so. And McCormick just getting a touch. And now Carl Broadhurst trying to create a bit of space for himself. Cummings under pressure though. And that will break for Nathan Lowndes. He's got Marino Keith making a run into the middle. Keith screaming for the pass. Lowndes is going to go for the shot instead. And it produced a very good save from Neil Moss. Well, Marino Keith was screaming for that one into the middle. He'd made a good run, taken up a good position, but Lowndes, seeing the little gap opening up in front of him, deciding to go himself. And in the end, it was a decent save from Neil Moss. Hodges. In towards Marino Keith, who got it well for the header. This is David Norris, he's found space for the shot. Oh, against the crossbar. And it's dropped down into the net. Well, that is absolutely remarkable. Well, the wind certainly played a part in that one. A freak goal, if you like. And David Norris is taking the congratulations. He'll settle for that. Well, Norris finding space on the edge of the area for the shot. It was a cracking one, too, off the crossbar. And then everybody just seemed to stand and watch. It looked as if it was bouncing out and away from goal. 
a gust of wind and it's over the line 2-0 Long ball over the top for Feeney to chase. He's got the beating of Al Joffrey, or has he? Well, it was good defending in the end. And the shot curled over the top from Wade Elliott. Oh, that really did swerve in the breeze. Well, it was good defending initially from Hasney Al Joffrey. Feeney looked to have the beating of him for pace. That's uh, his attempted clearance straight to Wade Elliott. And the shot curling over McCormick's bar. James Hayter with the corner. So many bodies in there. Elliot looking to get it back across goal. Good save from McCormack. It was Mayer in there with the header. Still the situation not cleared. And now McCormack has gone down on the ball. And he gets a few pats on the back from his teammates. That's Wally White. Oh, McCormack coming to Argyle's rescue then. Oh, melee of bodies in the box as Elliot headed it back across goal was Sean Mayer who got the header in and McCormack making a very very good save and then as the scramble ensued he recovered well to clear the danger Warren Feeney found a bit of space he's got a shot in and only just wide well, I think Luke McCormack probably had that one covered. But Feeney sensing that the wind would help carry the shot. Slightly ambitious effort, but only just wide in the end. Well, Joffrey looking to take the free kick quickly. Oh, almost catching Neil Moss out too. Well, Joffrey just sensing that uh, Bournemouth were still reorganising a little. Neil Moss had to get down rather hastily. Grateful just to touch it on the goal line in the end. Fletcher stretching for it. Just about to pull the trigger. Now Marcus Browning with the shot. Oh, against the crossbar. Fletcher, how was that handball? Well, the crowd certainly appealed against it. I think Steve Fletcher was appealing as well. The referee waving play on, but uh, Argyle enjoying something of a charmed life. It was that shot from Marcus Browning which sparked it all. Came back off the crossbar. And as Steve Fletcher looked at heading the loose ball, was that handball? And the referee says no. supporters beginning to celebrate as we go into the final minute of normal time just a question of what the referee is going to add on now come Bournemouth grab something at the end this is Warren Feeney he's got away this time and again McCormack saves and really an incident which rather sums up Bournemouth's afternoon and indeed Plymouth Argyles Luke McCormack very much the hero for Plymouth in the second half Bournemouth have had their chances. Feeney, having squandered a golden one right up the death, knows that they don't really deserve to get anything out of this one. Anything we talked about at half time seemed to go through it out the window, and to be fair, in the end, to, for us to, to have a clean sheet in the second half is, is quite scary. They're a bit zany goals, to be fair, but it's something that uh, you know happens all the time in football. Uh, the goalie makes a bad clearance, and somebody has to. The thought the process to have a go at it and he wouldn't want it to fall to anybody else with Paul Watton and to be fair you know I was right behind the Chucks one it's a great hit the, the second one it deserved to go in somehow and it basically spun in the net so we were really pleased so a disappointing defeat for Bournemouth join us after the break when we'll be chatting to Sean O'Driscoll to see if the Cherries can make amends at Bristol City <laughs> <laughs> 